Here's the latest in the officer-involved shooting investigation. The Austin police detective involved in Friday's fatal shooting now has an attorney. KXAN News has learned that Detective Charles Kleinert gave an initial statement at the scene on Friday, but will have a formal interview with Internal Affairs in the coming days. Meantime, funeral services have been set for the man who died in that shooting, 32-year-old Larry Eugene Jackson Jr. And we have just learned the family has hired attorney Adam Lowy, who has represented families in other officer-involved shootings. As a detective, Kleinert was in plain clothes and investigating another crime the day of the shooting. And Austin police detectives aren't typically dressed or fully equipped to handle routine calls, but that doesn't mean they're not trained to do so. Chris Sadegui has more on the differences between detectives and uniformed patrol officers. 1200 West 6. Anything at all to drink tonight? Every Austin officer out patrolling the streets okay. is dressed the same way. The standard uniform would have the, the breast badge in their rank. They also use all the same tools. There's a duty weapon, two pairs of handcuffs, pepper spray, a flashlight. But not every officer at APD is on patrol responding to calls. Fighting crime also has a business side. Preparing um, affidavits, getting warrants, doing investigations. A patrol officer is dressed like Lieutenant Joe Michaelwitz. Uniform, equipment belt, easy to identify as an officer. But a detective would be dressed much more like myself with only the handgun and APD badge on his belt. I would characterize it more as a, a professional attire. Um, they're not called upon to answer calls for service. Responding to crime as it happens is typically not the job of a detective, but they do sometimes go out to do interviews or investigations. That's what Charles Kleinert was doing Friday, and if an emergency situation presents itself, they are trained to handle it. They're also to, required to do the annual qualifications with their weapon and any other new training that comes out that all officers have to do, detectives are also required to go to that. All APD officers must have at least four years on patrol before testing to become a detective, meaning all detectives at one time wore this uniform and belt, even if they don't wear it anymore. In South Austin, Chris Sadegui, KXAN News. Well, we just told you we've confirmed Detective Kleinert is now being represented by an attorney. Here's a little more insight about that representation. As a member of the Combined Law Enforcement Associations of Texas, one of the largest police unions in the state, Kleinert is entitled to legal representation from that organization. The attorney could represent him in both the administrative investigation, determining if he violated APD policy, and the criminal investigation, which will determine if he broke any laws resulting in Jackson's death. Now, Kleinert could also be sued as an individual in this case, as APD officers involved in deadly shootings have been in the past. Phillips Upshaw and Richard is handling the funeral services for Larry Eugene Jackson Jr. The service will be held Saturday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon at the Mount Sinai Church on Cameron Road.